According to the American Time Use Survey, 33% of high school graduates never read another book again in their lives. 42% of college graduates never read another book. And 70% of adults in the United States have not visited a bookstore in the last five years. And in addition, roughly 80% of U.S. families did not purchase or read a book last year. The thing is, everybody, everywhere seems to be busy. And in today's world, it appears that everyone is busier than ever before. Not to mention, with the added stress and with no time to relax. Now, why do you think that is the case? Nowadays, most people are simply too busy to renew themselves, to learn, to grow, and more importantly, to sharpen their acts. Could it be that we have forgotten how to stay sharp? Well, let's take a look at today's story to find out more. Welcome to Untapping Your Potential, where we will share with you motivational stories that will keep you growing and inspire you to take action. There was once two lumberjacks who lived in a small, woodsy town. One was an older, more experienced lumberjack, while the other was a younger, less experienced, yet stronger lumberjack. Their services were in high demand. Everyone in town would either seek one or the other for their service. They were known throughout the region as the best of the many lumberjacks who lived nearby. And this got the townsfolk thinking, which lumberjack was the best? The townsfolk then persuaded the two to compete against one another. The contest was scheduled to take place in one week, and the town became very excited to see it. The local newspaper even ran an article about the event, and there was quite a stir in the small town. It was obvious that the entire town, and even the neighboring town, would gather to watch the event. Some taverns even started to place bets on who would win. The young, energetic lumberjack was equally as excited. Confident, he even went on to tell the townspeople, watch me, I will be victorious. He had always wanted to prove his abilities, and it didn't help that the young man was very competitive. In fact, he was confident he would easily defeat the older lumberjack who was nearing the end of his tree-falling career, as he called it. The day of the competition came by, and the rules were very simple. Whoever chopped the most wood during their 24-hour shift would win. They were each given an equal amount of land to clear, as well as the same number and size of trees to cut down. The forests were so dense that the two couldn't see each other, but they could clearly hear one another. The younger lumberjack was full of energy and went straight into the woods to get to work. He worked all throughout the day and night, not even getting a moment's rest. Now he could hear the older lumberjack working in another part of the forest. Strangely, with each tree he chopped, the younger lumberjack grew more and more confident. He was certain that he would win the competition. Now the young man didn't notice, however, that every two to three hours or so, the older lumberjack would stop chopping for a good 15, 20 minutes. This gave the younger lumberjack hope because it meant that the older lumberjack was taking a break. Meanwhile, he, because of his youth, strength and stamina, had the upper hand. He could keep going forever. And by the end of the day, the younger lumberjack was certain he had won. He looked at the piles of chopped trees in front of him, and he couldn't help but be pleased with himself. During the medal ceremony, both men climbed to the ridge to determine who had won. To his side, he noticed the older lumberjack, who didn't appear to be fatigued at all, but they both nodded to each other in greeting. The younger man walked confidently, waving to the crowd, expecting to be named the winner. Then the announcer finally called out, the winner of the competition is the old lumberjack. The younger lumberjack couldn't believe it. He ran towards the older lumberjack's plot of lands. And much to his surprise, 
The older man had a pile that practically tripled in size, easily dwarfed his own. In shock, he turned to the older lumberjack and said, How did you do it? Shaking his head, he was convinced that the man had cheated. How could you have possibly won? I heard you take breaks every hour or so, while I kept working all throughout your break. In his rage, the young man continued to stomp the ground. How did you do it, old man? However, the experienced lumberjack only smiled and chuckled in response. <laughs> you thought I was taking breaks, right? Every time I took a break, I used that time to sharpen my axe. If you're an experienced lumberjack, you would have done the same thing. Intelligence won wars, not brute force. Rick Recorded. Think about it. If you constantly strike an axe against wood, it will eventually become dull. It won't be as sharp as it once was, and it will eventually become useless. Iron sharpens iron, and in order to be useful, the axe must be kept sharp. Similarly, you must sharpen your skills. Your axe is you. You are the one with the tool. Respect it and keep it sharp. Constantly sharpen it. Remember, your mind is the most powerful tool that you have. You need to surround yourself with sharp minds and with people who will assist you in becoming successful. Remember that leaders are readers. And there's nothing wrong with being active and working hard. But you should not be so busy that we neglect the truly important things in life, such as your personal life, spending time with your creator, spending more time with your family, reading, and association. It takes effort to feel good. You must devote the necessary time to bring about growth and change in your life. Because if you don't, in the long run, you will become dull and ineffective for not taking the time to sharpen your axe. And you might ask, how can you sharpen your axe? Well, Stephen R. Covey, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People is a great way to start. First and foremost, be proactive. Focus on what you can control and influence rather than what you can't. Second, begin with the end in mind. Define clear measures of success and a plan to achieve them. Third, put first things first. Instead of constantly reacting to emergencies, prioritize and achieve your most important goals. Fourth, think win-win. Build high trust relationships to collaborate more effectively. Fifth, seek first to understand, then be understood. Influence others by gaining a thorough understanding of their wants and perspectives. Six, synergize. Develop innovative solutions that leverage differences and satisfy all key stakeholders. And then finally, sharpen the axe. Every day is a new chance to recharge, renew, and refine yourself. Instead of chopping relentlessly, spend some time sharpening your axe. As Abraham Lincoln once said, give me six hours to chop down a tree, and I will spend the first hour sharpening the axe. Thanks for watching this video. How would you like to hear more motivational stories on a consistent basis? Do me a favor and support the channel by sharing, commenting below, and please make sure to like and hit that subscribe button to get the latest updates. Soon, you will be on your way to feeling inspired.